Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're all grinding the footies 84 times 10, 85 10 SBCs, and even though those are great, we're wanting the best chance possible to get those top tier footies cards, right? We all would love a chance at a 99 Ronaldo, Messi, Neymar, or Mbappe footies. And there's an SBC coming today that I think is going to give us the best chance of packing those cards. And I hope EA makes some changes to how this certain SBC has been released in the past. So we're going to talk about that big SBC today and also a little bit of important news about EAFC 24. So if you're excited for the video, drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you are new. Let's talk about yesterday's content really quickly. There was kind of a surprise yesterday, guys, and it was in the form of a player SBC, Tiago, a Liverpool center attacking mid, five-star skill, four-star weak foot, medium, medium work rates, okay, but a Tiago footies. We have not gotten a Tiago special card since his rule breakers earlier on in the year. Great dribbling stats, great passing, of course, a pretty solid card, and it's not that easy, or sorry, it is very easy. It's not that expensive to complete. Of course, only two squads right now, 88, 89 rated squad. You do need a Liverpool player from this, guys. And I do want to say, watch out. If you have any tradable Liverpool players or if you pack any right now, I sold uh, Darwin Nunez for like 9,000, 10,000 coins yesterday. Gakpo was 10K. Some crazy overpriced Liverpool cards right now on the market because of this SBC right here. So make sure you check your clubs if you see any of that. But coming in at 130,000 coins, it's not an amazing card for 130K, let's be completely honest, but at least it's something to craft, it's something to do. And if you're a Liverpool fan, or if you need links to maybe the footies Alisson, or maybe you, you were super duper lucky and packed the VVD shapeshifters, you need some Liverpool links, this Thiago can do that for you. And of course, only two squads, easy to craft. And uh, you do get a couple tradable packs back, right? You know, premium, electrum, small prime gold, that kind of stuff can get you some coins as well through the craft. So maybe it's even worth doing for that. Not a bad SBC, not an amazing one, just kind of there and a surprise, right? Had no leaks, had no information about that coming. So it's nice to get surprises every once in a while. So that's all I have to really say about that. Not too much. A W, right? A small W, we should say. 87 plus player pick dropped as well. Now this is a big W because it's unlimited repeatable. I don't feel like a lot of people are doing these right now, but at least it's an option. It's a nice option to have 84 rated squad. If you have some low tier fodder for maybe grinding the crafting upgrades, the 80 plus triples, this would be a very easy SBC to do. Very high chance of getting special cards inside of it as well. And I wouldn't say you have a great opportunity to pack footies from it. Of course, that only gives you the cards that are in packs right now. So footies team five, and of course, the best of batch three that is out, it does not give you the opportunity of those older footies cards like that 90 plus player pick does, but it's still a nice one. We also got free weekend league qualification points that were given out, so everybody has the opportunity to qualify for weekend league and a refreshed weekend league bonus set of champions rewards. The exact same as last week win four, win eight, 85 times tens inside of that. Very easy. Very nice for me. A no XP yesterday, unfortunately. That was wishing that we were going to get some of that, <clears throat> but we did not. In the store as well, they refreshed some of the big packs. 400k packs, I think, refreshed. I think almost all of the special packs, but specifically that 400k super ultimate pack was refreshed. And that's important because that's one pack that I've been opening just about every other day to restock my club with a lot of fodder because I need that fodder for completing all of these SBCs and packing the big boy packs that we are trying to open. So a stock club is very important, guys, and that's going to go into today's content as well with the 93 plus shapeshifter or footies player pick. That's the player pick we're talking about today. And one of the grinds that's keeping me going right now in this game is the 90 plus player pick, right? But that weight is just not that good. This player pick here gives us the better potential of packing those footies cards. Now, I hope EA, obviously this SBC is going away today. I hope EA refresh this, but there's a couple things that they need to do with this SBC as well. They don't just need to refresh it. They need to refresh it and make it a little bit better because this is one of the only SBCs right now that is only repeatable like one or two times. Almost everything else is at least repeatable like seven times, like the 85 times 10 is, or it's unlimited repeatable. That SBC needs to catch up today. Now, it's not that crazy to do. And of course, with the 84 10 grind, it's going to be easy to craft. The last one was three squads, 86, 88, and 89. So pretty easy to do there. You might need some lower rated golds. Again, you can do the crafting upgrade to get those golds. So it was 166,000 coins. And last time it did not include premium footies from team number four. I presume that this time it will be added in. 
But will EA either take out shapeshifters and make it a footies only player pick? Or will they maybe increase the rating a little bit? Or will they just make it cheaper and maybe more times repeatable? I'm hoping that whatever they do today, they just make the player pick this much better, right? Give us the opportunity to hit the Mbappe, to hit the Messi, to hit the Ronaldo, right? Because if there's one player that I would want to pack right now in this game, it's premium footies Messi. And since EA did not re-release these guys back into packs, I just typed in Mbappe instead of Messi. Wouldn't mind packing him either. But since EA didn't re-release these guys back into packs, they're still crazy rare and crazy expensive. And the only opportunity that we have to pack them right now is through that 90 plus player pick, basically. Uh, so we, we need another opportunity, EA, and this is going to be it today. I think that SBC will be so much fun to grind, even if it's like three times a day, two times a day, or even once every 24 hours, that would be an improvement from what it's been recently. But I think this SBC, guys, is one that if you're chasing any of the top tier shapeshifters or footies, you got to craft it today. It's going to be so easy to get done, just like everything else is with the great menu grind that we have out there right now. But I really hope they make it easy to complete and better and more times repeatable because that's an SBC that really is going to motivate me to grind a little bit more. I can't lie. It started to get a little old to just pack tots cards, tots cards, to rinse, to craft, to repeat. It's fun. Don't get me wrong. But it's starting to get a little bit old seeing just team of the season cards. I did the pack glitch skip thing more times than I have the entire yesterday that I that I learned it. I've been doing it a lot because I just want to get to the packs and keep rinsing and recycling. So I get to these 90 plus player picks to pack a 99 rated card, or at least that's the hope. And this time we are just going to take home a 93 Chesney for a Tots card because we didn't get anything massive there, right? I'm stuck doing that 90 plus until the 93 plus comes back today. I'm excited to open some of those and still to chase after the 99s right now on this game. Now, that's enough talk about that. That SBC explains itself, and we're all going to be excited for it today, of course, when it comes out. We're going to open a bunch of those on stream for sure, so make sure you tune in there. That link's in the description. Other Wednesday content today, we had a player SBC yesterday with the um, Tiago, right? I'm really not expecting too much else today. It might be kind of a quiet Wednesday. Who knows? Um, so Wednesdays have been player SBC days in the past, but since we had Tiago this week, maybe today we do not have one. That's something to kind of keep out and watch out for. Of course, can't forget the regular refreshes, the 8510, of course. Um, does the 8430 that got dropped yesterday refresh? Okay, it's still on a two-day countdown timer, so you can't do that every day. That's every two days. But the daily login, guys, make sure you're getting this done. It goes without saying. Today is day six of the daily login, and I think we're all going to get a decent pack for that. Um, daily login, six completions is an 84-plus times five so not too bad we'll get another one on friday eight completions we'll get an 85 times three but an 84 five coming to all of us today that have done that six times and then um we should be getting a free i'll put that in quotes a free player today as well like we had Savin from this last week um you know i don't know what ea is going to choose this time around they've been obviously doing playing on the names of these players that have last names that kind of coincide with like Free fodder. We had Ant Man. You know, all sorts of fun stuff. Here's my guess. We've we've been all talking about free and fodder, unlimited. We haven't had like a Freeman. There's a lot of guys with the last name with, that include like the word free in it. Uh, there's a Luke Freeman, Matt Fries. Maybe they're gonna do a, a free. Free man would make sense, right? That's just my guess. But we'll probably get another player inside of here, which could bring a little bit of XP. Not as much XP as we'll get tomorrow on Thursday. But a little bit of XP if you're still grinding that season progress. I have given up caring, to be completely honest. Maybe I get to level 30 this season. Who knows? Maybe I don't. But uh, that's a part of that. And also, we're going to get more XP. We're going to get a lot of XP on Thursday, actually, with the home of XP unlocking and then probably the new week of footies XP as well. So Thursday is going to be a big day for that XP. But today, I think, might be a bit of a quieter day. And um, yeah, other things I would say is, guys, just there's some random stuff right now on the market that sells for like crazy money. Like Real Madrid players are up. I think I mentioned that a little bit earlier, along with the Liverpool players. But make sure you check your club. And even if you're packing like right now, if you're opening 90 plus player picks, every single time you hit a bronze rare from one of those like mixed premium packs, those sell for 400, 450 coins. I've been listing a lot of those up. I've been selling silver rares for around the same price. Silver rares are actually a bit more expensive, 500 coins per card list those up and sell those because that can bring a lot of coins back into your club and that can just help you do a lot more sbcs if you have a few coins here or there fodder is so cheap and it's in the mud um that you know just having a few coins here or there even if you're trying to like save up coins and still buy somebody that you want to actually go out and try um you know that's a really 
big key and a tip that I can give you right now on this game as well. And also, I want to say this. For the footies cards, EA needs to update some price ranges, man, because almost this whole entire promo team is getting dangerously low from being a price that doesn't even sell. Rashford right now is 740, 750,000 coins. His minimum price is 700k. He cannot be listed any lower than that. Of course, we've been t talking about it. We've been seeing it. Guys like Robbie Keane, guys like Okocha, if you packed any of these guys tradable, they literally don't sell on the market unless you get very lucky for like a lazy um, because their minimum prices are set too high. And um, I hope EA changed that number one. But number two, it's like almost the entire team, guys. Like Rashford, as we mentioned, um, Ginola is still like, I think 50 or 60 K off. He's like got a 500 something K yeah, 500 K minimum. He's 150,000 coins off his minimum. But, um, even like Ali son, Ali son at 35 K that's his minimum price for a 98 rated card. 35,000 coins is crazy. Uh, other cards that are at their minimums. Um, I believe Falcao and Mascherano are at their minimum prices as well, which is again, very annoying. So I just hope that EA, that's a small thing, right? But it's been a theme for this entire year. It's been a problem the whole year. We've had prices that have not updated fast enough. Araujo still has a bit to drop before he would even get to 100K and he might not even get there. But that's just kind of a thing that's going on right now. Um, if you have a card tradable, even like this Eto, what's his minimum price? 77K and he's 100,000 coins. These best of cards are still in packs for a whole nother week. Their prices are going to drop a lot more. Remember what happened with the team of the year cards that were in best of uh, batch two, even the past couple weeks, they ended up dropping further in that second week because they were just in packs again and again, getting packed more and more. That might happen again this next week. So yeah, it's just a little thing here that I think EA needs to fix up with. Like if you want to try Robbie Keane right now or a culture, you're going to have to pay a price that really the card's not worth. And I'm not a fan of that. Never have been. EA, fix it up. All right. It's not that big of a deal. Please just fix it up. Now, speaking of EA, EAFC, I want to talk about a little bit about this because we had some news yesterday and I think it's worth covering, honestly. Um, we had all of the heroes. This was available on EA's website a couple of days ago, but they finally tweeted out official dynamic images and official stats, overalls and card stats for all of the brand new heroes that are going to be featuring as Champions League heroes in FC24, Schneider, Viali, so many different cards in here. Bomb Pastor looks really cracked as one of the highest rated um, women's Champions League heroes. Kessler in there as well. Paulo Futre, McManaman looks cracked with 91 pace and 89 dribbling. You know, probably four star, four star company with probably a lengthy accelerate type. It's going to be very meta. Um, Julie looks insane. Berbatov, I think, has been done a little bit dirty. And Ramirez, of course, looks absolutely mental and 87 rated. Very low rating, but like insane stats on the card. Um, very excited for a lot of these. So make sure you go on EAFC's Twitter and take a look at those. And uh, those, of course, are all the heroes that if you pre-ordered FIFA by yesterday, uh, you will have a chance at packing for a free pre-order pack bonus. Um, and that kind of bonus goes away. So if you didn't pre-order, you can still do it and get a lot of the benefits. You just can't get the free hero item as a part of the pre-order. And then also, I wanted to talk about this a little bit. This is big news as well for EAFC 24. You can transfer, EA Help just confirmed yesterday on Twitter that you will be able to transfer and convert FIFA points from FIFA 23 to FC points in FC 24. Guys, the name is changing. FIFA points up here in the top are no longer going to have the little EA like FP symbol by them. It's going to be an FC symbol and it's going to be looking a little bit more like the triangle, right? All the logos of FC 24 are kind of based around that triangle look, right? Kind of on the graphic here. This is the beta. I'm not going into the beta, right? It's just the tab on the menus, but it's kind of based around that triangle. It says FC on it. And, um, yeah, so you can actually transfer those forward, which you're like, Nate, we don't spend FIFA points. Some of you guys do, I know, and it's not a problem. If you want to spend FIFA points, that's completely up to you. But it is important to know that like, if you're buying FIFA 23 FIFA points, or if you have some saved up, um, that is kind of a, that's kind of a thing you can transfer over. And maybe a five head play, if you're on PlayStation, you can actually do these tournaments, one versus one single elimination tournaments. They can actually get you FIFA points. If you want to grind the game this summer a little bit, Play these PlayStation tournaments. Try to win FIFA points if you're somewhat pretty good at the game. Um, and you might be able to stack up from winning tournaments some FIFA points and end up carrying those over to FC24 and giving yourself, without actually having to pay real money, you can get yourself some uh, FC points to start off the year, which could really help you out big time 
at the beginning of the year. So that's kind of a little thing you could do right now on this game as well if you're grinding in the summer. And uh, I mean, there's plenty of places to grind, as you guys know. Friendly modes with the cup, champs, of course, with the rewards, um, division rivals, extra rewards that are out there. I'm not playing that much gameplay right now, which is like honestly sad because this team is so incredible. If I hit a 99 like a Messi or Ronaldo, I will definitely want to go grind some gameplay. But um, man, I played a couple of games of this team uh, two days ago, and it just feels like a cheat code, right? Using the Rashford, he was insane. No stats, because of course I played the friendly cut mode, but Ginola was mental. R9, using him again after not using him this entire year, but using him all year last year. Felt amazing to use this card again. And of course, Dino Zidane, cracked as ever. Joe Gomez actually surprised me a little bit as well. So I'm still chasing those 99 rated cards. I'm going to build some more player picks after we open a 200k or a 400k pack yesterday. Got to rinse all of that into 90 plus player picks. And then we'll continue the 85 times 10 grind, the crafting upgrades to get LaCroix. And it should be another good day of the grind on footies and FIFA today. So if you enjoyed the video today, guys, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate, the foot account. And I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace.